Hi, how are you? 小朋友，你好嗎？今堂我哋會睇下一啲 regular verbs， 一啲正規嘅動詞，但係喺一個過去式嘅情況喎。Regular verbs in past tense. Okay, so let's see the example here. So the first sentence: I visit Grandma on Sundays, but last Sunday I visited the zoo. So, this in this sentence we can see visit and visited here. So they are different, why? Right? So the first visit is in present tense. 现在式 Okay. So why it is in present tense is because now I'm saying I visit grandma on Sundays. This is my habit. 喺一個習慣嘅時候，我哋會用現在式去形容嗰個動作，咁所以自然個動嗰、那個動詞咧都係現在式啦。But last Sunday I visited the zoo。上個星期咧，我就去咗動物園喎。咁上個星期即係之前即係發生咗噶啦。咁當然嗰個動詞係要用過去式啦。Right, so we will use past tense instead. Oh, sorry. 过去式啦 So it is past tense here. I visited the zoo. So this sentence we will consider it as correct. While for this one, the second one, I visited Grandma on Sundays, but last Sunday I visited the zoo. So as I explained previously, 我之前講過啦 When we talk about the event on the past, so in order to make this sentence correct, we have to change visit to visited. Okay. So now we have more exercises to practice. So first of all, we will go through these verbs first. So the first one is visit is to tam 嘅意思啦 ，and second one is want 就想要啦 ，and third one is call 就想打俾邊個。So first of all, as mentioned, we would add, ah,、uh, we we would make this verb to be a past tense word. So how can we change that? So the first type I'm going to introduce. Is the verb that you just need to add ed. Then the whole verb can be changed to past tense, like visited, wanted, and called. Like I visited my grandmother. He wanted to buy a new car, and she called you on the phone. So. This group of verb we just add ed to the sentence, and then we can say, "Oh, it is past tense." So the second group I'm going to introduce is a bit different. So because we we see this verb, we have change. That's a 改变呢 Paste. That's 贴上而 bake. 就係焗蛋糕嘅焗啦。So this verb we have e at the end. So try to imagine if we add e d. So the whole verb would be like change, and then our verb would be changed. So we have double e here, which is impossible. Okay, so. We are going to clean that. Great. So what we need to do is simply add the at the end. So the whole verb will become past tense. So like, the man changed his clothes. 个男人换咗件衫啦。The driver tried to push the car. 个司机尝试去拱架车啦
And mum baked a cake yesterday. 焗咗个蛋糕啦。So the second group of verb is simply add d at the end, and the whole verb would become past tense. Okay. So the third group I'm going to introduce is another thing. Okay. So, as we see, we have ban. That means, 被禁止啦，或者禁止啦。And we have stop. It says 停止啦。And then we have pin. That means 钉起佢啦。Okay, 钉喺个壁布板嘅钉啦。So, we see what are the common features here. Can you see it? Yes, we have vowel sound right before the last character. So, what is means by the last character? So, 喺个动词最尾嗰个英文字母嘅前边，即系我黄色画咗呢三个英文字母，佢有咩共通点咧？冇错啦，佢就系 a。E I O U 入邊嘅響音，咁入邊嘅響音會令到個動詞喺變成過去式嘅時候有咩咁特別咧？就係、是、我哋用以下嘅規矩啦。So we need to use or we need to add E D at the end, but we have to double the last character. Like pin, and then we will become pinned. So we have two n here. So the 规矩就系话，如果动词最尾个英文字母嘅前一个或者尾二嘅英文字母系 a e i o u 响音嘅话，咁我哋就要将最尾个英文字母。重複多一次，再加翻 e d， 就好似呢一個禁止嘅英文 ban b a n， 因為尾二個英文字母係 a， 咁所以我哋要將最尾嘅英文字母重複多次，加多個 n 俾佢，再直接加個 e d， 咁樣先係一個過去式嘅字母或字元。So in this question, we have banned. The bad king banned the people from singing. 個國王個好衰嘅國王禁止咗啲人民係唱歌啦。And he stopped smoking. 佢停止咗食煙啦。Stopped. And the teacher pinned the drawing on the board. 就係話老師將嗰幅畫釘咗喺個板上面啦。So we see these three verbs are in past tense. And they spell in a different way. Okay, so the fourth group that I'm going to introduce to you is even difficult. So just like the third group here, we see、um, the last character or the last two letter. So in the fourth group, 咁第四组啦，我哋就会睇最尾嘅英文字母咩共通点啦。咁今次大家全部都係 Y 啦。咁而英文入邊咧，動詞凡係動詞咧，最尾嘅英文字母係 Y 嘅話咧，咁我哋要將佢變成過去式咧，唔可以直接將佢加 E D 嘅，唔可以嘅。咁要點樣玩咧？就係將個 Y 變成 I 之後，再加 E D。咁複雜，即係點玩啊？咁咪即係咁咯。Okay, so now, wait, let me clean the letter first. Okay, so like we have carry here, so the last character is Y. So what we need to do first, 首先我哋要將個 Y 轉成 I 啦。咁成個英文字就會變咗 C A L L I 啦
。咁要將佢變成過去式，多數我哋都要加 ed 噶嘛。咁所以咧，我哋就會直接變成 carried 啦。The lady carried a handbag， 即係話個女士咧就帶咗一個手袋啦。Carried 就係攜帶。And the writer replied to the letter. 個作者咧就回信啦，回覆嗰封信啦。And we tried our best. 我哋好盡力去嘗試。Tried. Okay. All right. So lastly, we have the fifth group. So this is quite complicated. So the fifth group. Uh, what we need to do is okay. You may ask. Okay, so it's the same, right? 我哋都係最尾個字母有 Y 啫，咁同第四組有咩分別咧？分別就在於呢度咯喎，睇真啲。我哋見唔見到 Y 前邊有啲乜嘢啊？就係、是、一個 vowels 啦。又係 A E I O U 啲 friend 喎，咁成件事就變咗點樣咧？我哋就唔需要將佢變成 I 啦，即係好似呢度咁樣。The children stayed at home, okay, and they played chess, and they enjoyed the games. So we can see the vowels, uh, in the second last letter 係尾二嗰英文字母。係 A E L U 嘅時候，再加上最尾個英文字母又係 Y 嘅話，咁我哋就唔需要轉前面嗰個嘅動詞，直接加翻呢啲就可以將佢變成過去式啦。So I hope you understand the five rules of making a verb into past tense. Okay. You understand better. I think this video is helpful for you. So let's see. Past simple verb forms are created by adding e and d in the end of the verb. For example, want, wanted. He wanted to buy a new car. Call, called. She called him on the phone. Hello. For verbs ending in e, we add d in the end. For example, change, changed. He changed his clothes. For verbs ending in y, first y changes into i, and then we add e and d in the end. For example, try, tried. He tried really hard. Remember, when the verb ends in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, we double the last consonant and then we add ed in the end. For example, stop, stopped. The car stopped. If the last letter is X, we don't double the consonant. For example, th. 
fax faxed when the verb ends in a vowel plus y y does not turn into i we simply add ed in the end for example stay stayed She stayed at home. Created using Powtoon. Okay, so lastly, we'd we'll like to give you the exercise to finish. So try to change these verbs into past tense. Let me give you five to ten seconds to do that. Alright, so the first one, what is your answer? We see Y at the end, so we simply change it into IED and the second one we see Y at the end but at the same time A at the second last so we will change it no need to change it it's just adding ED and thirdly uh, we see E at the end so we just add D to make it into past tense fourthly we see E, a vowel sound at the second last char character, so we would just add ED again, just like this one. And the fifth one is more. So because we have O here, we have to double the last character, is mopped. Okay, tall data. Okay, so this is the end of this lesson. It's a quite short video for uh, regular verbs in past tense. So I hope you understand more and learn something here. Thanks for watching.